we're going to show this time is is, is a, the wind erosion demonstration. So we'll fill this with, so you would fill this with soil. Um, the next thing we'll set up the, the blower. First thing we're going to put on is a is a shut off. If you want to stop your wind, then you can all you have to do is just close the dust collector. Uh, you, before you start this, you want to make sure that your vacuum is blowing from the side that you hook up to the manifold and and sucking from the side that's hooked up to the funnel. The manifold's also outfitted with a rheostat switch so that you can turn it on and off or you can slow the wind down and speed it up. Um, you can plug the box into the, an outlet or to an extension cord so that you can get away from uh, if you need to be a distance away from power and then the manifold plugs into the vacuum sweeper. That way you have control over your vacuum motor with the, with the switch on top. I have a little stand that we'll put in front of the, we'll put over the top of the soil so that you can show how much wind the wind's blowing. And that just stands in front of it. The next thing we have with this is, is a piece of contact paper that um, is just the regular clean white contact paper. What we're going to use this for is, is to capture any kind of saltating particles that will be blowing off the pan. Because as you know, there's a lot of soil movement, but it doesn't always create dust. So we're going to turn this over, and we'll peel one corner back. And we have clips for a picnic table that you just clip it on there so it stays in place. And once you have your paper secure, you can go ahead and peel it back and pull it across the table. Yes, you want the sticky side of it. The next thing is we'll prepare the funnel. And we have a cloth that's cut just to fit the front of the funnel and clamp it to the top of the funnel. And just lift the bottom portion of it and set it down on top of that. Okay, once you have your soil in the pan, this is ready to run. I have a small anemometer that you can show the wind speed so you'll run it for a short time then you'll have to till your soil again because the soil will actually armor off all the dust will blow out of it, all the light particles will blow out of it, and then the heavy particles will be on the surface, so it's going to armor off. So you may want to stop it, retill it, as you would in a field, or uh, because in a in a large field sim simulation, this is a continuous thing. There's new things that are introduced. Now you can you can take sand and put an impact on that. Uh, you can move the move your and drizzle sand in on in the front of these to, to create that impact. I like to take a, a spray pan, uh, spray oil or something like that, because it's it's all pretty fine dust and light light particles that are coming off of this. And but if you put a spray pan or something on the front of that, that will be actually tackify that dust that comes, it, it gives you a contrast and will actually show you how much more dust is coming off and actually sticking where that wet, uh, oily space is on there. Um, so we'll turn the model on. Mm -hmm. 